Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have again Lenovo Think Center desktop computer. Uh, let's see together what's wrong with this computer. So let's connect the power cord. Here is the power cord. Okay, let's turn on. It is turned on. Let's try and press the power button. It does not do anything. So no power at all. Let's try and measure if we have voltage coming out of the power supply. So we have at the green wire 12 volts yeah we do have voltage there let me put this black lead at any ground point okay so i want to check the power button so here we have how much 3.3 pressing the power button goes to zero yeah 3.3 Pressing the power button goes to zero. So we do have the voltage coming to the power button. So this looks like that we have a faulty BCH, but first let's check if we do have this 3.3 volt go low when we press the power button. So I want to check. I will use a, I will use this multimeter because it has an hour dense okay so let's check the EC chip Here we have 1.9, pressing the power button, nothing happened. Three point three, pressing the power button, nothing happened. Yeah, this one. Three point three, pressing the power button, it goes to zero. So yeah, we have this signal going low. But the EC chip that means is the EC chip not reading the power button so I think we need to replace the EC chip but first let's try and uh, turn off the power supply reset the BIOS Okay, let's check if we have any short. Next to the VCH, or I mean the EC chip. Nothing. No shorts, no nothing. So let's put the battery back. Let's turn on. The power is on. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. So we do have a faulty EC chip, I think. Yeah, we still have 3.3, pressing the power button goes to zero. So yeah, we need to change this. It is ITE, IT8625E. I think this is not programmable. So we just need to replace it. And I think the computer should work. 
I think I do have this uh, this number. Let me find it and we will change it together. Okay, so here is the chip. It's ITE eight six twenty five E. Okay, so let's uh, use one and uh, install it. I think I will leave it. I think I will leave the motherboard uh, in its place. I will not take it out. Let's see if we can protect these capacitors. But still I want to protect these plastic connectors. I will use uh, aluminum tape. Okay, I think we are ready to take it out. Let me bring the camera a little bit down. Okay, so let's take it out. Chip position, pin one is here at this white triangle. Okay, so the chip is out. Let's uh, put a new solder on these pads. Okay, so we replaced this uh, ID Super IO chip. Let's try now. Let me put back these wires. Okay, let's try now. Okay, let's press the power button and nothing happened. I don't know if this is a new ITE chip that I have just replaced or reused one. So this one look, looks used. Okay, so let's continue working on this uh, computer. So these uh, chips that I had before then, the one that I installed was actually old chips, so that's why this one does not work. I kept them with me, so I thought they were good ones. And now I, I have ordered these new ones. So let's install one and see if this computer will come to life. Okay, let's take this one. We need to protect these capacitors, the capacitor and this connector here. 
and this connector and these two capacitors this one actually so I don't know if we can use no yeah we can use this one here to protect both the connector and the capacitor there and uh, I think I will use aluminum tape to protect the rest Okay, let's take this one out and install a new one from here. Okay, so the chip is out. Let's install another one. I will need uh, to use the microscope okay let's heat it up okay we need to go a little bit that way okay so the, chi the chip is uh, installed let's try and check the pins I don't know if we have a bridge here or it's just the flux I think it's a bridge okay let's check the pins Okay, so all pins are good. Let's remove this uh, bridge from here. Okay. And uh, I think now we are ready to test. The chip is cold, the area is cold. Okay, let's try now and turn on the power. And yes, it does work. It does work. We need to connect the output. We have a display board. And VGA, let's use the VGA. Okay, do we have display? Let me go to microscope view. No display. So let's try and uh, turn it off. Okay, turn it on again. It does work. Still no display. Okay, let's try and uh, okay, let's turn off. Let's try and change the RAM module to the other socket. Let's clean it a little bit. Okay, let's try again. Yep, 
it's still doing exactly the same let's try and restart it again I changed the jumper position so let's start it again so this time it does not beep restarted yes will we get a display I think we will get a display let's just wait for it this is a good sound and yes we have display we have display so this computer is now fixed let's try and connect a keyboard and press F1 let me go to position 3 to get a bigger, a bigger uh, display bigger screen okay so let me connect the keyboard and press F1 to enter setup F1 and yes yes it does work so this computer is now fixed as you can see do we need to connect the hard drive and see if it can load the windows let me bring a hard drive okay so we need let me connect this front USB okay this one the SATA boards let's go to SATA 1 ok SATA 1 going to the hard drive SATA 2 goes to the optical drive this cable here so let's try and turn it on again now I want to see it loading the windows F2 F2 and yes we have the windows logo and it is loading the windows so yeah this computer is now fixed and the problem was the EC chip it's faulty it's not shorted but it's not reading the power button pressing the power button the voltage goes to zero but it does not read the power button so that's why it doesn't work so now this computer is fixed i hope you enjoyed this repair if you do please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i hope i can see you in another video thank you so much